So here I am on the iPad, and uh, it's very likely that if you have multiple people using the iPad, you want to use the same formats and configurations for each of the users. And uh, so, for instance, if you come in here to the selection formats, you can see I've got some predefined selection formats. Now, you could take each device and configure the same thing over and over again, but that becomes rather cumbersome. So really what you want to do is you want to connect your iPad up to iTunes. Let me move this aside here. You can see here's my iTunes here. And here's my uh, application timer pro. So I'm in the apps area. I scroll down and I double click on the timer pro. And what we're interested in is this file here called default.db3. You'll recall uh, the button says save to default several places. Uh, both in the set selection formats and in the screen configuration area. This is a table that is being updated. So what you'd like to do is you'd like to copy this uh, from this iPad. So you just hit, click on it and you say save to and then you can save it back to your uh, PC. And then what you do is you connect the next iPad and bring it from the PC back down into the uh, Timer Pro documents area uh, in that iPad and repeat that for each of the iPads in turn. That way, every iPad would inherit the same properties that you see defined down here, both for the selection formats and in the other area, of course, it would be in the Open Master Study, over here in the screen configuration area, and at the bottom here, you can see that this would be the defaults that would be copied over, uh, so they can all use the same parameters.